What's up, what's up, what's up? Good morning, you guys. I am back here with another video. It is 6 a.m. This is dark out. Normally when I stop my morning, this is exactly what it looks like. It's dark. Um, right now I'm at Polar. I am about to drop off this load. I have my bill of laden right here. But I don't know if it's open right now because I haven't came here this early before. Normally when I come here, it's about uh, 9.30 a.m. So let's see if this is even open right now. And if not, we'll just have to sit around and wait. Let's go. I'm the only truck here right now, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaning towards, um, I don't even think um, I'll be able to get checked in right now this early. We have the yard, the yard dogs, and we have the polar trucks that are getting their trucks for the day, but um, I don't think necessarily it's open just yet. But we're gonna find out right now though, as soon as I walk into those doors, <laughs> there might be a sign on the door even saying what time check-in is. So let's take a look. Unlock between 6 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right, so we're good to go. 6 a.m. Let's get it. Well, the short fuse will be open right now. Sadly. <laughs> RDL Mariano, copy. Uh, Good morning. I got a 12 o'clock sparkle and ice. You want it in a door in the yard? Copy. Can I have your cell phone number? 508. All right. So um, they're going to call me when they have a door ready. I did notice when I came in, they, most of those doors were already full with trailers, with polar trailers. So... I know they're gonna have to, the yard jockey's gonna have to clear them doors, some of those doors out in the front. Cause that's normally where I go anyway in the front. So, um, there go Gordon. So, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna pop more towards down the end cause I know that's where I'm gonna get unloaded. That's where I always get unloaded at. So I'm just gonna do myself, do myself a service and just, Pop down over towards the end because I know they're gonna clear those doors out and I'll be get put down there. So it's 8:30. I got here at 6:20. So just about two hours waiting for a door. And I kept seeing them empty outdoors right here. These were all full with trailers, and I kept seeing them empty outdoors. So I went inside and I asked them if they know how much longer and she made a call for me and let me know to find out if there's a door available for me to go in right now. So she was able to get me a door, sparkling ice. So I'm going in door two, which is right there next to that super ego truck. Yeah, because I have another, uh, my appointment wasn't till 12, but luckily for me, I was able to get a door right now. I kept seeing a whole bunch of uh, trucks backing into their doors and I see all these doors getting emptied. So I'm like, wait a minute, man. Let me go inside and ask. Closed mouths don't get fed. So I got the sparkling ice load. Yeah, man. Closed mouths don't get fed. So I had to go inside and ask. So, man, let's back into this door real quick so we can um, get unloaded so I can make my next, uh, my next uh, appointment. Yeah, when I tell you I was in and out of that door, I was literally in and out of that door. I need these. I swear, I promise you, it took all but about maybe like 10 minutes. As soon as I got in the door, you know, I'm going through my um, notifications and everything. And then the next thing you know, I look up, I get the green light. So that's good for me. I would have been out the door already, but there's a truck that took way too long to get in his door. Ah. Man, I hate these ones. There was a truck that took way too long to get in his door, so he was blocking me from coming out, and he's still trying to get in his door. <laughs> yeah, so now that I got this empty, I could drop this bad boy off at the yard, and I'm going to go pick up the next trailer and go drop off that next load, and then that will be my day. So I'm going to run in here and go get this bill of laden. All right. Yeah, let's go. I had to use the restroom. Got my bill laid in. I hope I'm not blocking anybody. See, all of us who got in the doors, we're getting out of there. 
You know, I must say though, they, they work pretty quick though in, at this location, they do. Even though I got here at 6.20 and waited two hours, that's because they had other things. And plus my appointment wasn't even till 12. But nonetheless, they work real quick because we all out the door. So let's go pick up this next load, man. Look at this guy walking across the street like nobody's business. <laughs> man, I ain't mad at him. But I am mad at the ones who just cut you off and then just go completely slow. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little warmer out here right now. I have to take this hoodie off because I got a long sleeve on up underneath this anyway. Right, that's a nice basketball court. Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to drop this trailer off and then pick up the next one. And New Hampshire, it is. This will be my third time. Is it my third time? Because I was out there yesterday. I was out there Monday. No, I was out there yesterday and today. So, yeah. Yeah, so um, this is my second time going out there this week. So, you know, it's been a, it's been a steady week, not a slow week. It's been a steady week. I haven't been upstate New York in two weeks. This will make two weeks, which I don't, I don't mind. You know, I don't mind going out there once a week. You know, when I go out there twice a week, you know, it is what it is too. It is what it is. I don't really care. <laughs> but um, this will be the second week I haven't went out there. Um, I don't know what's going on with business, but normally I'll go out there even if I skip a week of not going out there, there was this one other week I didn't go out there, but then the next week I did. But this will be the first time I did in two weeks without even going out there. But I'm, let me not speak too soon because tomorrow is only Thursday and there will be a possibility I might can go out there. But I like it when I, um, I ain't gonna front. I do like it when I stay local. When I stay local, I like it because I get to be home in my own bed every night. But I don't mind going out there like once a week. You know, take a little trip, <laughs> a little road trip. You know, sleep in a hotel for the night. That ain't nothing. So I just dropped that trailer. Um, so now we're picking up this one. And this one has, this one has the, the paper in it that has to go in. Oh uh, yeah, it's definitely getting warmer out. I'm gonna definitely have to take this hoodie off. Yeah, these gloves gotta go too. <laughs> they keep getting caught up in there. So I'm on the scale. I just backed up in it, on it. So what he's doing right now is he's weighing me out. He's getting me weighed in right now, and I'm gonna hand him my bill of lading, and then I'm gonna back this bad boy up uh, to the to the dock area, and then I'm gonna get unloaded. See, I'm gonna back it up to right there, and that's when he's gonna unload me. But right now, I'm just gonna wait for him. That way when he gets here, he could just start unloading. Pretty, 
It's a pretty fully loaded load. It's a full load. And he's gonna bring it all out right here when I back up to right here. Some more paper, recycled paper up there. Possible we could be on break, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know after I would have did one truck at this time, I would probably would have took a break too. But nonetheless, I'm on the scale anyway, so when he comes back, he'll just weigh me out, and then I'll get it backed up and loaded. Now I'm unloaded, cleaned out, got weighed out on the scale. So now I'm ready to head out, got my paperwork together so everything's copacetic. Look man, I enjoy making these videos. So if you enjoy seeing these videos, I need you to like the video. Every time you like a video or when someone likes the videos, it send me right through the algorithm. And that's where I need to be. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. And I'll see y'all in the next one.